Hey guys, this is Subhash Mishra, your test coach. In our previous video, we have learned how to create different tests in TestNG. We learned about hard and soft assertions. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a test suite and manage multiple test suits in TestNG. So first thing, let's understand what is test suite. A test suite is a collection of tests. In real time, when we test a software or application, we do not run a single test to validate the entire application. We need to execute multiple tests together to validate the complete application. Moreover, running them manually one by one is a tedious job. So the process of running multiple tests at once is called a test suite and performing it in TestNG is called TestNG test suit. Here in this example, previously we have seen right how to execute different tests in TestNG. So I am taking the same example. Here you can see we have very few methods in a class and how we are executing it? We are just right clicking and then we have run as TestNG test. Right? It got executed. In real time, we cannot go to each class and run it individually. So we need a test suit which is collection of all these test cases and we will execute that test suit. In TestNG, test suit is available in form of an XML file. TestNG doesn't let us define the test suit inside the test code or the main testing source code. Hence, we need to create a TestNG XML file for the same and we need to execute that XML file. So maybe you will have a question, what is TestNG XML file? So TestNG.XML file is a configuration file which helps in organizing tests. It allows to create and handle multiple test, test classes, define test suits and tests. Basically, it makes our life easy by controlling the execution of tests by putting all the test cases together and run it under one XML file. So how to create a TestNG XML? So previously you have already installed TestNG plugin in your Eclipse. If you have not, go to the our previous video and see how to install it. So for now, what I will do it, I will just do right click and here you can see TestNG, right? and click on convert to test engine. So here you can see the see this XML, right? So you can give whatever name you want to give. For example, I can change the suit name, I can change the test name. So everything I can give here. So let's just do that, let's finish it. And now here you see testng.xml file got generated. Right here we have the testng.xml file. There is one more way also you can generate this XML file if you don't want to generate in this way. You can go to this documentation, you can go to this website testng.org, and here you can go to the documentation, and here you can see testng.xml. Right? Click on this and here you can see the XML file. Copy it and paste it in a notepad and then save it with a .xml extension inside root of your project. So you will get something like this testng.xml. So anything is fine. Uh, you can directly create through Eclipse here or you can copy paste from here. Anything is fine. So once you generated this testng.xml file, you should be able to execute from here. Okay, now let's understand what is this testng.xml file. So here you are seeing right, first one is the xml version, then we have the doc type with testng link and then we have the suit name. So suit tag starts from here and ends here. So this is where you can give the suit name, you can give as per your choice. For example, I will give functional suit, this will be your suit name and then we have thread count 
the test tag starts from here and ends here inside test we have thread count so as of now we don't need this thread count it is mainly used when we run parallel test so let's remove this i will explain in our future tutorial when we learn about parallel test and this is our test name so these are the test which will execute and this will get displayed in our test report we can have multiple test you need to keep the test name unique you cannot give the same name for the multiple tests inside the test we have the classes so here you can see this is the package name whatever package name we are using here and this is the class name right so then you can directly execute your suit from here uh, here what we'll do we will have multiple tests so let me add it so here we'll keep test 1 class class name as test 1 and here we'll have class name as test 2 and we'll change this name so in our test 1 what we are doing here okay so here i will write verify login okay and okay and in our test 2 here we are verifying page title verify page title okay this control set f will format your code okay let's execute now run as test and shoot okay here you can see the result total four tests got executed three are passed and one is failed so three are from test one so from here we have three test right zero one two and in the test two we have only one so total four got executed so if you would have seen also here it all executed in a sequence so whatever sequence or class name we have given here right so this, this got executed first then this one so that's all how you can create a testng.xml file and execute a test suit thank you if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section i'll try to explain it Please like, share and subscribe to my channel.